Yes, I'm getting the fight I asked for! Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXXChic, and we are back with another reaction to The Legend of Vox Machina. We are now on episode five of season three, which is called The Frigid Wastes. Sounds so warm and inviting. <laughs> so last episode, we were in hell, quite literally, with our group trying to achieve the vestige. They did manage to get it after a very dicey game that Pike played, but she did end up winning seemingly, except the person Xerxes, who she won the vestige from, seems to have other plans for her. So he has sent his uh, minion to go and destroy all of Vax, Vox Machina with the exception of her, but we're still not 100% sure why. And we didn't get anything on our other crew outside of Hells because we know that they are abandoned. The last time we saw them, abandoned in the sense of the bridges to get back to the door to hell, as well as I think back to the village have all been destroyed by the dragon. So yeah, they just managed to escape and get out of the cave that they ran into, but their Kima is still at large. And as I said, I'm not sure if they have a way back. So I'm thinking we're going to switch to them this episode, but we're just going to have to watch and find out. So let's go ahead and do that. Just before I do though, a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know of when I drop episodes, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. All right, that out of the way. Let's get into the episode right now. Maybe if you weren't so short-sighted. I'm sorry, short-sighted? Are Ooh. you mocking my height? A little bit. Why don't you two partner up? You have such a unique rapport. AKA flirting. Wait, did that thing have snakes for hands? I got this. Do you? You most certainly do not. Looks like neither of you got it. What if the blood was poisonous? Could have been poisonous. And her mouth was open. See? Told you I had it. It got in your eyes. <sighs> Kima's a tough mama Gemma. Ah, oh, shit. I was thinking you should probably be a little bit more stealthy about the whole getting up thing since the dragon's still looking for you. The plan is I find Kima and rip that fucking monster apart. That's a lovely idea. And we're out of time. In an hour, we have to reopen the gate. An hour? Friends. Getting involved causes all sorts of complications. How? He said well, no. we're not involved, are we? What? No. Then it's not complicated. Right? Make up your mind, sis. Percy's a hot commodity. There's a lineup if you don't want it. <laughs> you know I was saying that laser thing was a good thing last episode? I spoke to you soon. Why would you mock uh, it? Maybe don't mock Thank you! Man. Keep hiding or I'll find you. Really? Looks like your sense of smell's not working so well. The ice down there looks rather thin. We could use it to our advantage. It's an ice Never dragon. Ice. Do you see Kima? Footprints? Anything? Well, not from... And it's also snowing. All the more reason for us to keep a level head. Because we're always so level-headed. Right, I was about to say, pot and kettle here, but see where you're coming from. Kima! Over here! Ali? This is not a plan! Damn it. it really isn't! All evidence to the contrary! Y'all do not fight well together. I think history's proven this, but okay. Nobody I ever aims for the eye. Or the balls. Dragons have balls, right? I'm sorry, we can't all blast magic out of our bloody face. Right? Work with what I got here, sis. <laughs> that kept you from freezing to Oh shit. Okay, I thought what went went through her. Okay, let's get weird. I mean, that's what she said. <laughs> Can you swim, dragon? I mean, I know you obviously don't get too cold since that's your thing. But we'll see how you do with swimming. Get off the ice now! Let's go find our ladies. Our ladies? Okay. But we're not together. Don't worry about it. No labels. Okay. <laughs> Can you open the portal from here? <laughs> oh, really? Sounds hard. Try anyway! <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we don't have time for excuses. Oi. Can we reunite? Okay, can we open the door and reunite later? Please! 
told you to stay put. So you could dive headfirst into Vorigal's okay, everyone's just dying on the other side. It's fine. Shit, because I have a death wish or anything. It's just my way of keeping you out of danger. Wonderful. The the gateway. This can be done later. Um, it is? There is the gateway. Yeah. Right, of right impending doom. Thank you. Did one of those things crack open the door to hell? Ooh, I would love to see that thing against uh, the dragon. That'd be a fun fight. Yeah? Okay. Scotland, no! Scotland, no. I mean, this is a matter of life and death. No time for sanity. Get out of there! It's working! Does it have a limit? This isn't a dragon. I feel like he's got infinite fire. That is helpful. That is a helpful vestment. What about it? Oh, what the fuck? God. It'll go back, I think. Oh shit, oh shit, I don't want to die ball! <laughs> Fans, like, can you at least get a girl a lights front? Give me a bust down. No, maybe we bring the big boy because then the dragon has something to deal with. Duck. Ready to deal with hell? Yes, I'm getting the fight I asked for. Unless it's already over. It's not. Yay! Music. They're gonna fight or fuck. I mean, let's not watch. Let's let's leave. Some things need to be private. I mean, you guys. I'm I'm a voyeur. I can watch from the outside, but you guys need to go. Yes, monster fight. Kaiju's. Woo! 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 I'm glad because you talk too damn much anyway. Is what we're known for. Can we run away now, though? Let's not talk like about it. Your hair is Cram it to roll on. Have a day. Okay, maybe we get out. Now. Right? This fight. That's as far as you go. Right? It kind of is. I don't blame you, but Billy, you're going to die. Oh no, demon took a lot. Whoa, that's what you get. Does it grow back or something? Yeah. I feel like it's red blood. That's probably not good. Can they cancel each other? <gasps> Suplex! The fact that y'all are still so close, but I don't blame you. You kind of want to know, do we still have a dragon problem? This is such a bad... Oh, throat bite! This is exhilarating. So titillating. What happened? It's not clear. Do you? Damn. Damn, demons are hellish. Huh. Why do you guys have to jinx us? Right? Like I'm that? like, the uh, fact that you're still there. Where the belligerent fuck is she? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> that shot. Oh. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. Yeah! Teamwork is dream right, baby! I was waiting for his gambling's hand. He's taking off! No, he ain't! I love it! Now do the, the Hulk smash! Both sides! Can you cast a spell on a moving target? Oh, uh, what? Quickly, Keyleth! Are we gonna go up the pooper again? Because that was pretty effective last time. Y'all was just lazy. Up the pooper? Finally! Get grown. Get grown, fool! Careful what you chase. You might just catch it. <laughs> See the eye? Didn't I tell you to go for the eye? Dragon scales. What is your little alchemic mind thinking right now? Back to Mordor. Fox not gonna tuck to your dragons now. Who goes there? Wow, you are so out of it. I have the perfect place in mind. I knew she would go to them if she didn't follow these two. There we go. I kind of like the other look, though. Waterbed homestead, the hot box, the short shack, you know, my, my nightclub. Hmm. We're all a little tired for Jack. I'm like, can you please speak plainly, sir? 
Entree vu. Scam. Do we want to know what's what the in there? I don't know about that? the purple lights kind of scaring me. <laughs> and the fact that none of them knew he had this place. <laughs> Probably for good reason. <laughs> I kind of need to know what's in there. Like, I, I need to know. All right, guys. Well, that was the frigid waste. And it was very cold, you know, just felt a little too much like Canada for me. But anyway, we had both of our teams have to deal with their respective monsters. On the hell side of things, they need to get back to the exit, which they managed to do. But of course, both sides need to be open at the same time in order for them to, well, not both. They needed someone on the other side to open the portal. But um, we see, we got to see the vestige that Pike just got freshly used. And that's a real, that's a very, very good vestige. Yeah, I don't think that, um, that, that what was her name? Raishan was definitely right that that is a very helpful vestige for a fire breathing dragon. That thing absorbed a lot of fire and it blasted it back 10 times over. So it didn't quite take the, the demon out, but it definitely did some damage. So I agree that's, that's going to come in so clutch and perfect vestige again for Pike because she often shields the group. So basically she's gonna become the fire shield when it comes down to it. So anyways, it turns out that the demon chasing them was an advantage because the dragon on the other side in the cold waste was giving everybody a hard time. Kima did survive and we got a little history on how Kima and Al Allura's dynamic worked. Basically Kima's kamikaze and Allura's the safe one, but you know, it turns out they're a good balance for each other. And you know, this situation, both of them are kind of being a bit reckless, but it was good to see how they were using the parallels of that relationship with what was going on with Percy and Vex. You know, they both obviously are trying to navigate this new dynamic. All of this comes down to what I talked about a few episodes ago about how the twins are very, very avoidant of getting close to anyone because of their trust issues, because of their trauma. And the reality is that I like that every time that Percy said they weren't together, Vex got <laughs> quite literally upset and shocked. I mean, that was her answer right there, right? She clearly does not want this to be a one-off thing between the two of them. But you know, she just needs to get over that fear. But anyways, they at least gotten to the point where they're not gonna pretend there's nothing going on. But I understand not letting too much of that get in the way of the focus that they have right now, which of course is getting these dragons out of Taldere. So anyway, we see that uh, their dealing with the dragon was not going the best, but they did pretty good. You know, Percy's idea of having the dragon have to flail around in some water for a while isn't a bad idea. Would have been more helpful with a fire dragon, I think, than a dragon that's already meant for the cold. But anyway, it gave them enough time to get back to the portal and just in time. And it turned out that, like I said, the demon turned out to be a very helpful distraction. And more importantly, it did some really decent damage to the dragon. It wasn't enough to take it out, which, you know, that lets us know what we're dealing with here. Dragons are definitely no joke, but it was enough that it weakened this dragon enough for Vox Machina and Allura and Kima to get in there and finish the job. So I like, I love that because this dragon, like they were all arrogant, let's be real, but this one was particularly arrogant. And it turns out it's all this dragon's fault because it really was because he wanted to stalk them, then he wanted them to be scared and he wanted to prove what a badass he was. And in the end he got, got, that's what happens when you play with your food. You know, you're supposed to just get to it. Otherwise, you never know. It's just like Hema said, but whatever you're, you're chasing might just catch you. <laughs> you just might find it. So anyways, as it goes, they are, they now have the vestige. They got what they came for, but of course they are very far from where they started. It's cold, it's dark. And yeah, it's looking like they're not gonna do too well if they have to stay out there. And we saw that Scanlan's got some, some extra tricks up his sleeve. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's inside Scanlan's scandalous pad in the next episode. So yes, I enjoyed this one a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I'll see you in the next one.